game four. So I think for the rest of these, we're gonna have four events slash projects. So there's gonna be a lot going on in all of these. We've got gamble, summon, capitalism, innovation. So lots of villages and draw. <clears throat> what do we do here? So first off, what does capitalism affect? Just goons, but I mean, goons is a good card. So as far as villages go, innovation is a village, summon is a village, but both of those are very expensive. Theoretically, fields gift. All that sounds a little difficult. Hmm. The village situation doesn't look great. I mean, the good news is goons is non-terminal because of capitalism. Uh, once you buy it, you can play as many goons as you want. But the draw is all terminal. Council room, patrol. I guess technically there's Will-O-Wisp that you can get off of Pixie, which is draw, but that's not enough draw to build a deck around. So villages are going to be very limited. The thing that would make me think about doing is building the gamble deck that tries to draw during the buy phase via gamble instead of during the action phase. But aside from goons, I'm not seeing too much support for that. It would basically end up just being like goons and gold and like nothing else, right? Pixie wouldn't be super good in that deck. Uh, yeah, no, none of this other stuff would be all that good. Even sculptor for silvers wouldn't be too helpful because the silver games to your hand and then you can't play it. Hmm. So what are we doing here? This is a tough one. This is a really tough one. I mean, you have to build somehow. Whoever plays a lot of goons is going to win. But I see two relatively unappealing routes to do that. Oh, we do have Necropolis. That affects things, doesn't it? I didn't even notice but we're playing with shelters. So we have one more village in the form of Necropolis. Hmm, this is hard. Necropolis pushes slightly towards maybe just playing with like a handful of council rooms. And then having a thin deck. I don't know, and I, I, I'm very torn. Well, I'll, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll defer this question for a moment. That's not what I wanted to see, but it's okay. I was really hoping to find the goat. Um, I figured my opening was going to look a lot like this either way. So... I don't think I need to think quite yet about what the end state of my deck is going to be. Uh, do I want that? No. End actions. Please hit goat. Thank you. That was a good draw. I mean, one thing that pushes towards just gambling all the stuff is the goat potentially gets you thin really fast. I'm still not sure. The downside is buying cheap stuff is hard because if you buy a bunch of coppers, then the, the deck starts to get bad again. Like to get through your deck, you basically need one gold for every copper because if you're gambling for two each, each copper costs you one and each gold gains you one. Um, with goons just being entirely neutral in that regard. Now I guess is the time where I've got to make a decision, isn't it? What am I doing? I'm gonna take Sculptor for now. I still don't know. I have no idea. Now this also came up last season in the match versus E Honda. I remember there was a, a game where I was like on the fence about going for the 
buy phase engine with gamble versus the more traditional thing. And I waited a while, eventually decided on gamble, and that turned out to be wrong in that kingdom. Uh, well, shoot. River's Gift would be a great boon to get basically <laughs> any time before this, but he just picked up his first goons. And if I pop this for two draw and have a seven card hand next turn, and he hits me with goons, it's all for naught, because then I discard down to three anyway. I miss out on the draw. So I don't think I can take that. Yeah, good thing I didn't take it then. I'm kind of feeling like we're not going to do the gamble deck. Hmm, I, I mean, I'm probably not going to do much of anything if I can't hit six. I need to get six for goons. Do I want two silvers? Probably. Ay ay ay. I'm not liking this kingdom. I'm I'm too indecisive. I don't I don't see anything that jumps out to me as like obviously the correct play. Except that the goal is to play a lot of goons, which I'm failing at because I can't hit six and he has. Um I already hit six anyway. Um Oh he got the Will O Wisps, no wonder. Um I think Swamp's Gift is just like the single best boon to pop Willowis or to pop Pixie for early on, because you're I mean, you're basically like getting two laboratories. But we're stuck in the the bad side of a, a very common theme in goons games, which is they get six first, then they start playing their goons, and it just kind of locks you out of hitting six because the discard attack is pretty painful, uh, as far as trying to hit very high numbers goes. <laughs> oh, might do it here. Yeah, this looks like six. All right, so he's got innovation. Um, Yes, I think he's not trying to do the gamble thing either, it seems like. I think I'm going to follow suit and just try to build the more normal deck. I don't know if I need uh, innovation all that much right now. Think about maybe just council room. Followed by capitalism. I want to get to the point where I'm drawing my deck and playing at least one goons at the end of that. And I think getting up to play multiple goons per turn is a lower priority, at least. And that's the ultimate goal. But in terms of like which things should come first, I think getting deck control is going to be more important. You know what I did that was really dumb? I killed my Necropolis. Oh my god, I'm not playing this game well, am I? This is, I'm I'm thoroughly unhappy, I think, with the quality of decisions I've been making this game. Um, yeah, this is not, not good. It's not been the best match for me, but also not for like one consistent reason either. I feel like I've, I've so far like managed to lose all the games, but for an assortment of reasons. Game one, uh, I don't, I don't know if I picked a better or worse strategy, but we had a nice, nice divergence of strategies between big money and the engine, and the engine won out. Uh, I can't complain about that. Always, always happy to see the engine win. Um, 
Oh, uh, did I play this? It's risky. If I find my sculptor, I'm fine. Nope, I just wasted a villager. Um, I did. I did see my good at least, so it's not the end of the world. Um, game two, I really liked my deck. I was very, very proud of it. Um, but I think I misplayed the end game there and, and blundered a win. Uh, game three, I think it was just very bad draws. And then here, I'm I'm just I'm playing sloppy across the board. This this game, I'm not happy with. Uh, I still am not sure what I'm doing. I've I've already made a number of errors. Um, not that I need the silver all that badly, but I do want to have a villager. Just on the goons. Killing Necropolis was just really dumb. I talked at the beginning about how Necropolis um, pushes you towards building the non-gamble deck. Then I tried to build that deck and then killed the thing that helps it. <laughs> um, that puts me, I think, Quite behind now, but we're gonna try. This would be an interesting kingdom for um, monastery to be in. Like you buy a bunch of coppers for points with goons, then you gamble through all the coppers, and then you trash them at the end of the turn with monastery. So functionally, all the coppers would cost one each, but wouldn't take up any deck space. That would be a cute interaction. He's got four Will-O-Wisps. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Will-O-Wisp is a really good card. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I've not pulled Swamp Skift a single time. Do I want to free silver? Uh, what number does it get me to? I have six, eight, nine in hand. I could have 11 instead. 11 sounds a little better than six, right? I'll play it. Oh, uh, I would think you pop that. See if gift seems pretty good. Might depend on what he has in hand, though. Owie. Uh, let's discard the sculptor. I, theoretically, I can get extra villagers by gambling Sculptor uh, at the cost of two money. And I kind of need the extra villagers because I killed my only village. So he's got four goons now to my three. It's a bit of a problem. Ideally, I take at least two goons here. That might not happen if I don't draw well with this pixie. I got two council rooms down there. I just need to find one of them. Um, and then I should be fine. But I could very easily dud here. Yep, that's a dud. So... I think if he takes the last two goons, I can just resign. I don't think I'm going to just four goons. Bottom decking both council rooms is uh, a bit tragic, to say the least. I also am at a massive points deficit. I was just briefly contemplating, like, if he takes two goons, maybe I try to take all the estates. 
I don't even think I have the buys for that, but like, even though I did have the buys, I'm not sure we're scoring enough points. That's weird to me that he didn't trash a copper. Why didn't he trash a copper? He wanted a warehouse, okay. Um, I don't think I understand that. <laughs> so I am um, gains short on emptying estates, right? Would it be enough points even if I did it? Let's see. So if I bought eight estates. I would get eight points from the estates, plus I would get 32 points from goons. That'd be enough points, wouldn't it? Do I have a pixie down there? I think I do, right? Actually, rather than counting all the pixies, let me just see if I've played a pixie recently without trashing it. Yeah, okay. Um, the, the thing I'm thinking about at the moment is if my pixie's on top and it gives me forest's gift, then I win because I could just empty the estates. What else is down there? There's a copper down there, isn't there? There's a copper down there that'll just kill my turn. I think the other cards might just be silvers. So I get a 50-50 shot of hitting Pixie before I hit Copper. And if I hit Pixie before I hit Copper, and I happen to see Forest's Gift, then I win, right? Is Forest's Gift one of the ones available? Oh, now I gotta think about this. Um, play, oh goodness. <laughs> so there's four boons left for the last eight. Sky, Earth, River, Sea, Flame, Sun, Moon, Mountain. So I think I've got a one in eight chance of winning here, if I'm counting that right. There's a 50% chance I hit my pixie before the copper, and a 1 in 4 chance I get Forest's Gift. Alright, this is it. It's gonna happen. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> That's absurd. That's utterly absurd. I didn't deserve to win this game. I was... I was getting my ass kicked. I was playing badly. I'm sorry, Crab Cat. <laughs> you earned that one. <laughs> GG. Um, I I liked some of the things I did in previous games. I would have really been happy if that beggar thing won. This was a game I didn't I didn't even want to win. <laughs> I'm, I kind of feel bad now. Um, one sec. I'm gonna let my dog back out. Hopefully she's calmed down now. <laughs>